In the aftermath of their ordeal with the bounty hunter, Echo suggested they go to an old informant trusted by the Jedi, Sid, to find out information on their pursuer. On board the Marauder, Omega was given a comlink and taught how to use it. Omega initially playfully used it to communicate to the squad despite being right next to each other. But by the time they arrived on Ord Mantle to find Sid, she had become more serious, reciting the rules she had been given. Don't wander off, pay attention to her surroundings, and use the comlink to contact them if she got into trouble. The group entered a rundown parlor in search of Sid, and while the squad was initially told to get lost by a Trandoshan woman, Omega deduced that the woman was actually Sid while the others discussed, an observation that Sid noticed and complimented. Hunter quickly agreed to carry out a mission to rescue a child named Muchi from a group of Zygerian slavers on the other side of the planet. As they traveled there, Omega asked Echo about slavery. As Echo told her what it was, she frowned and said that she did not feel like that was right, to which Echo voiced his agreement. When they landed outside of Old Ord Mantle City, where the slavers were based, Omega was excited for their new mission, and was thus dejected when Hunter told her to stay with the ship as the squad moved in. Omega sat in the ship's cockpit and played with her doll, coloring it to resemble the Bad Batch's armor. As she showed her work to Gonki, she heard voices outside. She grabbed a backpack and escaped the ship as a pair of Zygerians searched inside. Looking through a pair of binoculars, she realized that her companions had been captured. Omega snuck around the Zygerans camp and quickly made a plan, unlocking a cage that housed a ranker. Although she was captured, she successfully set the beast loose, which caused havoc and gave Rekka time to free the squad. Omega joined Echo in escorting the Zygerians' three other prisoners, two Falene and a human, away while Hunter, Rekka, and Tech went after the ranker, whom they had realized was Moochie. As they helped the others escape, Omega claimed a Zygerian energy bow off of the ground. Their mission successful, the team left to return to Sid, with Omega riding on top of Muchi. Once the ranker was taken away by the Majordomo Bib Fortuna, who was representing Muchi's rightful owner, the crime lord Jabba Dzilich Tiore, Sid paid Hunter what she owed the squad and informed him about Shan, understanding that there had to be a reason a bounty hunter like her was chasing them. 